cozy game news. There's a lot of it. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. Oh my goodness, what a time to be a cozy gamer. I feel like I opened my Twitter, or X? I guess it's called now. Whatever that app is, I open it up every day and every day I am so excited by even more amazing cozy game news. Now I made one of these videos recently and I had a lot of fun. It was a nice way to condense a lot of different topics that I wanted to talk about as far as cozy gaming goes. I have quite a few more stories. A lot of these things have just happened within the past couple weeks. So they're all pretty new things. But before we get into it, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content, and if you want to see me play cozy games live, I live stream on this YouTube channel several times a week, and we would love to see you at a stream. Okay? I'll shut up. Let's get into the news! Let's start out by talking about the Wholesome Games Sale. Now, in case you missed it, I already made a whole dedicated video about the Wholesome Games Sale, and I chose a few games I was really interested in personally picking up myself during the sale, but in case you missed it, it is a huge thing going on right now through August 7th. Wholesome Games, an amazing part of the cozy gaming community, a super great resource for cozy game news, game trailers, and of course, the Wholesome Direct, which I would say is the biggest cozy gaming event of the year. Wholesome Games is a curator over on Steam, so they have a whole page of games that they have personally picked and deemed as wholesome games. And now for the first time ever, what they're calling a one of a kind event, they are having a huge sale on many of the wholesome games featured. Currently there's over 250 games on sale. Tons of them have really big discounts. The ones I covered in my video tended to be the ones with some bigger discounts, but there are a lot of really popular titles as well included. Some of them may have smaller discounts, but regardless, a discount is a discount. This is really exciting because this is the first kind of sale where all the cozy games are in one place. Of course, I've done tons of sale videos before over here on the corner, but it's games in general on sale, and I have to fish through what I think is a cozy game. But it's really nice to see that Wholesome Games has this amazing curated list and so many games have participated and they're on sale. And in case you haven't checked out Wholesome Games' Steam page, definitely do it, not just for the sale, but also it's a really great way to find a bunch of games to wishlist. I don't know about you, I always forget to wishlist games, and then when they come out, I'm completely surprised and confused because I forgot because I didn't wishlist the game. And wishlisting smaller games is so important and so helpful to the development team, so if there's a game you're ever interested in seeing on Steam, definitely be sure to wishlist it. Wholesome Games puts it so easy and nice for you to see. Wholesome Games sale, huge event going on, definitely newsworthy, definitely check it out. Now, the next news story we have are multiple news stories back to back, but they're all with the same theme. I don't know about you guys, but every time I play a new cozy game, and this is true, especially if you've seen me on live stream, so many times when I am playing a new cozy game, I see a character I am obsessed with, and I instantly utter the words, Okay, can we have it as a plushie? Yes, we can have it as a plushie today because we have multiple cozy game plushies available or will be available soon. I have to talk about the biggest one, of course, which is being Lucky from Paleo Pines. In case you're unfamiliar with Paleo Pines, it's an upcoming cozy game that is coming out for Nintendo Switch and PC in September. But the demo recently came out in June. I live streamed it on this channel and had the time of my life. And many other people had the time of their life because it was one of the most played games during Steam's Next Fest, and the demo still loves on, so you can play it right now, even though Next Fest has concluded. In a very short summary, because I've made tons of videos about it, Paleo Pines is an adorable farming sim game all about dinosaurs. You use the dinosaurs to help you farm, you can befriend them, and there are a lot of dinosaur species in the game. Most notably, you start the game with an adorable dinosaur that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the species name of. It starts with a P and it's long. You start out with an adorable dinosaur named Lucky. Now Lucky is this lovely blue dinosaur you're seeing here. And without a doubt, there was no question. 
we needed a lucky plushie. Well, now you can absolutely get yourself a lucky plushie. Starting on August 1st, you can place your very own pre-order for Lucky over on Makeship. The campaign will last 21 days, and after the campaign concludes, the Lucky plushies will start production on August 23rd, and then they'll be ready to ship out in November, which is perfect timing because by then, we'll already be playing and loving Paleo Pines. Now, Lucky is available through a website called Makeship, which is a really amazing website that allows different creators and companies to collaborate with these plushie campaigns. And they're only available for a limited amount of time. So if you're interested in getting a Lucky plushie, definitely be sure to check out the website. I've linked it down below. And if you can't support the Lucky plushie, definitely still be sure to wishlist Paleo Pines and keep an eye out for it when it comes out in September. The lovely people over at Paleo Pines were kind enough to offer to send me a Lucky Lucky plushie. So when I get my lucky plushie, you'll probably see them on my backdrop because I'm a little bit too excited about this. Speaking of plushies, the Cozy Games, no, we Cozy Gamers tend to like plushies. Is that a stereotype? Maybe, but it's a stereotype I absolutely fall into, and I think some of you might fall into too. We have another Cozy Game plushie. In case you haven't already heard, there is a lovely game that has come out for Early Access this year called Fabledom. Now, I've live streamed Fabledom on the channel. I've also reviewed it. It is a really fun, fairy tale building management style game. And most notably, my favorite part of Fabledom are the flying pigs. And once again, if you've ever played Fabledom and you've looked at the pigs and thought, huh, I kind of would love those as a plushie. Now you can get them as a plushie. Once again, another makeshift campaign. The one for the Fabledom Flying Pig has already started. These guys will start production on August 19th and they'll be ready to ship in November. Now, at the time of recording, they have not been fully funded. So if you're interested in supporting Fabledom and getting yourself an adorable flying pig, once again, be sure to go check out their makeshift campaign. It will be linked down in the description below. You thought I was done with the plushie news? No, one more, I promise. This one is old news, but I'm throwing it in here anyway because once again, we have another Cozy Game plushie. I'm really excited about all of these plushies. I had to put this one in, but we're talking Ooblets, okay? Ooblets was my favorite Cozy Game of last year. In case you're unfamiliar, Ooblets is an adorable creature collection and farming life sim based game. Mainly, it's your job to collect these adorable little monster babies called Ooblets. When you start the game, you get to pick which clubhouse you wanna be a part of, and depending on what club you pick, also decides what your first ooblet is. Now my first ooblet, and dare I say the most popular choice, was an ooblet called Shrumbo. Shrumbo is an adorable little red mushroom, and of course, Shrumbo will soon be available as a plushie. Now the Shrumbo plushie is not available yet, but it is currently in the works. You can see him here. He looks so, so adorable. The plushie is currently listed at fangamer.com, and you can sign up to be notified immediately when the Shrumbo plushie goes on sale. You know we're all gonna snatch it up as soon as it goes on sale, I know. I will. To summarize all of the plushies, I'm really excited about all three of them. They look so amazing. And it's so exciting to see smaller cozy games come to life with merchandise. I feel like we don't get enough of that. And I really love being able to support my favorite cozy games in a physical way like this. And who doesn't love an adorable little plushie? A nice little segue into our next news story, talking about ooblets, but not really talking about ooblets. We're talking about Moonstone Island collaborating with Ooblets. Now, in case you haven't already heard about it, Moonstone Island is a widely anticipated upcoming cozy game that is coming later this year for Nintendo Switch and for PC. Moonstone Island is a farming and life simulation game all about magic, all about alchemy, and all about creature collection and card-based battles. In Moonstone Island, there are so many amazing little creatures for you to take on and then acquire. Kind of think like Pokemon in a way, if you're new to these style of games. 
When I played the demo of Moonstone Island, I noticed right away how amazing the different creatures were in the game and how humorous and whimsical they felt. It seems only fitting they would decide to collaborate with Ooblets to bring one of the most popular Ooblets from the Ooblets game into Moonstone Island as a creature that you can collect. We're specifically talking about Rad Lad. The adorable radish Ooblet will be available in Moonstone Island. Now this is so exciting. I was already really excited about Moonstone Island, but seeing this collaboration is really cool. It's a nice little Easter egg if you're an Ooblets player like myself, but also it opens the door for what other kind of creatures are we gonna see in this game. Moonstone Island also previously announced that they were doing a crossover with Terraria, so it's really interesting to see if they'll consider doing more collaborations in this way. And overall, it's really exciting to see one aspect of one of your favorite games in another. The next story on the list personally is one I'm involved with, so maybe that's why it feels so big and prevalent to me, but I do think this is a big thing sweeping the community, not just my community. And we're of course talking about some Animal Crossing New Horizons news. Now, before you get too excited, no, Nintendo did not release another update or release information about an upcoming game. But once again, the Animal Crossing community refuses to let this game go to let this game die, and they continue to innovate with exciting different challenges. And right now, we're talking about the latest Animal Crossing challenge. This one was created by Talk, and this challenge is called Animal Crossing Rags to Riches. Inspired by Rags to Riches challenges from across multiple different games, this is definitely not a brand new concept, Talk took this idea of money making and brought it to the world of Animal Crossing, but added a bunch of more rules. Nintendo made a super great video showcasing Rags to Riches, all of the rules, and also including lots of different creators in the Animal Crossing space to get in on it, to get some hype for the game, and also to introduce it further. Pretty much, in case you haven't heard about the Rags to Riches challenge yet, it has you start over on a brand new Animal Crossing island. So you need to reset your Switch if you've already had an island, and you're starting over. And you're starting from zero bells, which is the in-game currency in case you're new to Animal Crossing. And pretty much it is your goal to make 10 million bells. There are a lot of other end game objectives as well, but pretty much the main goal is start from nothing, end up a billionaire. But the way you do that isn't so simple. You have to declare what class you want to be in. And the classes are pretty much different jobs that your character are going to take on. You can choose to be the farmer, which is what I chose, of course. You could be the forager, the fashionista, or the fugitive. Each one of these classes comes with their own set of rules, guidelines, and also special perks and special challenges. This aspect really, I think, sets this challenge apart from other ones because it feels so community driven. You actually need help from the other roles to be able to complete Rags to Riches. So it is very community based and it seems like people are having a lot of fun with it so far. I certainly am having a lot of fun with it. I've been live streaming it on this channel and it is really a nice way to get back into Animal Crossing. And the last news on today's video is absolutely massive Coral Island news. In case you're new to this channel, I am a Coral Island super fan. I love Coral Island. I've been playing it since early access started last year and I have been enthusiastically following every single update since. In case you're new to Coral Island, in a short summary, because there are tons of videos on my channel about Coral Island, it is a farming simulation game that takes place on a stunning island that has been damaged by an oil spill. Now the main twist of Coral Island, of course, is that beyond the surface, quite literally, there is magic going on in this island. Most notably, magic in the water in the form of a merfolk kingdom. Now we've known that there will be merfolk in the game the entire time. It's probably one of the biggest parts of the game. But until now, we have had little interaction about the merfolk and little information on what is going on with them. But Stairway Games, the developer of Coral Island, just released their newest dev blog, which has so much more information about the Merfolk Kingdom, the first look at it, and even some new characters introduced. Coral Island's Merfolk update is going to be coming out some point in August, but you can opt in to play the beta right now. There's information on Coral Island's Discord, which I'll link down below. And also I've been live streaming the beta on my channel in case you're interested in seeing a little bit more of it. But going Going through the most recent dev blog, 
we've got a new character reveal. This is Krakatoa, the king of the merfolk kingdom. We have never seen him before. He looks so fancy. I love his design so very much. I'm really excited to see him in the game and see what he's like. So far, we haven't gotten a lot of interaction with the other merfolk in the game, so it's gonna be really exciting to meet this new character. But even more exciting, we have our first look at the merfolk kingdom. Close your eyes if you don't wanna see it, but if you do, here is a little sneak peek. Oh my goodness, does this not look so beyond gorgeous. Here we are seeing the gates opening and we can actually swim into the merfolk kingdom for the first time. I think it looks absolutely stunning. It continues the whole vibe of Coral Island that we've seen so far and makes it even a hundred times better. You can see the other merfolk in this picture as well, swimming about. And along with this, we're not just getting the merfolk kingdom you can walk in, we're also getting merfolk storyline. Up until now, we've had just a little bit of a glimpse of what the merfolk think about the oil spill, but we will be getting a more in-depth look from each of the characters on how they feel about what's happening to their home. The merfolk update is definitely the star of the show here, but in this latest update, we also got some other news about some other fun features that are coming soon. Keeping in line with the ocean, we're going to have an amazing new machine that'll make exploring the ocean a lot easier. There's gonna be an auto trash collector that will help you in those moments where, where you wanna clean up the ocean, but it's getting a little tedious. As well as there will be an ultra scarecrow, which will mean you will not need a tiny little scarecrow on all of your plots. This one will cover a massive 19 by 19 radius, making it much more easy and much more efficient. As well as game achievements are going to be added to Coral Island, which I'm not sure if everybody likes Steam achievements, but I do so much. I feel so cool when the little achievement bar pops up on the side. It makes me feel special and I love to see what the different achievements are as well as a lot of other updates that are just gonna give the game even more personality. We already know in the next update, we're gonna see a lot of improvements to ranch life with specific new machines to help automate your ranch a bit easier. But we're also now getting the personality of having sleeping animals on the farm. So we'll be able to actually see our cows like you see right here, taking a nap, which makes them feel even more realistic. And the animals will now also have the chance to get sick, which means when they do fall ill, you will have to give them medicine to make them feel better. So the game is going to just be adding in a lot more moments that make these characters feel even more alive. And I'm really excited to see it. And there you guys have it. Those were some cozy gaming news stories from the past couple of weeks. I am so excited about all of these things, but I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Which of these updates are you excited about the most? And what am I missing? What other huge cozy gaming news has you so beyond excited? I wanna know. Let me know down below. Please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.